I do think we're a passionate family, for sure. We're a Mediterranean family, so there's a lot of passion. Everybody respects each other's uh, dreams, and that is something that's quite important to keep going, because you do need your family support. It's really hard to do it by yourself. Family means everything to me. It's probably the most important thing in life. Our performance, yeah, in the past year, they've been, they've been rocky, for sure. It's mostly about the fact that everything has been online. You don't know if there's ever gonna be a land again, which is what we play for. This is when we really shine. And all of that was just taken away, right? The more time passes now, the more I realize how, how much we missed. And I wish I had more time to spend with my sister and with my family in general, but just, you know, if you want to be the best in the world at something, that's one of the prices you pay. You don't have that many moments. So when that moment comes, you got to make the most out of it and you also want to enjoy it, cherish it. <laughs> My name is Manon Debs. I'm the sister of Sébastien. And I have two passions, my family and my music. When I went to the International in 2019, it was just incredible to share this, this uh, together. And the emotion was uh, crazy. It was crazy. I mean, the two times were very different. That's what hit me the most. I think maybe the first time was like, like a big shock. And the second time, maybe there was a little bit more pressure around it. It was so, yes, a shock. I only look at you and I saw that you were so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you fall on the, on the floor. Yeah, uh, I mean, I had to sit down. I had yes. to sit down. And it was the same for us. We were so... Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, you you did to, it. <laughs> you need to like feel the ground. So if I ever get the third of these, you still have space for it. You still, you want the third one to adjust this. <laughs> did I have the choice? <laughs> of course we have. To know that... My brother and sister are proud and so proud that they can, they put it in their living room and <laughs> they tell people what it is and what it means and stuff. That's super nice. Yes, we're also proud to show them and see them. Yeah. It's a reminder. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. That's motivation. <laughs> it's huge. Yes. It's really nice. It's very inspiring for a sister to see his brother succeed in what he loves. We really share our victories and defeats when he wins, we all win. I think it's amazing that my sister's trying to make a living out of her passion. I mean, trying to live her passion. I think she's, uh, she's a force of nature. Nothing is easy for her, you know? She has to get it all done by herself. She has to manage working uh, a regular job, plus trying to make her passion work, you know? And so it is inspiring. These moments are defining and they, they make you very strong, actually. 
They give you, I think, the energy to go all the way. It reminds me of the energy I used to have and I now have again, thanks to the awareness I get from just looking at what she's trying to do. How it all started, I mean, how it all started for me, it started from some very, you know, dark times in my life, you know. I'm half French, half Lebanese, so I moved to Lebanon at a very young age, maybe two or three. And then 2006 in Lebanon, there was a war there. You know, war times, you f try to find a way to ex escape the country because things are very messy, obviously, and dangerous. So that's what happened to us and ended up in France. What's happening in Lebanon actually is very, you know, for our family, it's not an easy period they are, they are uh, living, actually. The whole country is kind of collapsing right now. Went yeah. bankrupt, right? That's how it yeah. started. Putting petrol in the car. Yeah. How, long we, how long we pay, waited? We waited. Yeah, like two, we, two we hours. We made a, a queue of two hours and a half just to have maybe a few liters, you know, in the car. Yeah. But you get a glimpse of what they go through. When we traveled to France, we had to to find a, a patient to focus on and to to forget the, the hard pass. So for Seb, I think it was it was the game, uh, and for me, it was music. But it kind of reminds you that you know you, not everything is for granted. You know what's what's important anyway for me. Uh, it's like uh, it's being all together and. Uh, with my son, my daughter. <laughs> this is what's, what counts a lot yeah. for me. Yeah. The most important. It's being together all the, uh, it's uh, important <laughs> for me. Yeah. Oh. Really. If I d did something for my family, it's not giving up, you know, and, and fighting through. This is life, if you mean, because you asked me earlier what family means to me, it means everything. Like, I think these are the moments I want to live for, right? Hopefully one day I get more time for these. Whenever you go in these like tournaments, there's always these moments that are really hard to deal with, you know, and sometimes all that's left is just this kind of blind faith that comes from, you know, your support. I mean, it does mean a lot to me. Yeah. Since you were a kid, you were like this. You were somebody who was passionate, you know, and uh, when, you, when you aim to succeed in something, you go till the end and you fight. I wish you, for, of course, good luck, and uh, I'm sure you have all the capacities to be one of uh, the best teams, at least uh, between the three of, <laughs> of the top. No pressure, no pressure. <laughs> no pressure. Bien sûr que je suis fier parce que la, la plus belle chose qui puisse arriver, c'est de vivre de sa passion, et j'ai la chance que ça leur arrive. On peut pas souhaiter mieux. Winning a third time, I mean, it would mean a lot. I think it would, it would help me close the book. But at the same time, I've learned to be grateful. I think Dora has given me so much back, like more than I could have ever asked for. It's not gonna change what I'm gonna do, what I'm planning to do. I'm gonna give it my all. I'm gonna really put every drop of energy that I have in me into that. It feels like TI9 was so long ago. It was like a, like a dream that we won TI back to back. And now we're presented with a big land, with a lot of teams. After all this hard work, all these years kind of in the darkness, I get the chance to prove myself. That's how we feel. We're just hyped. It feels like it's been forever, so yeah, it feels awesome.